coming from KC, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? My mom killed my dad, or who I believe was my dad. Oh, who you believed to be your dad? Columbus Keith Short Sr. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Insanity. Insanity. Doing something over and over again, expecting a different we, result. Exactly. Because I always, I always tell people, because a lot of times, I normally start out by getting your backstory, because you have a lot of people who come on here and they'll talk about how their daddy was, whether they were absent. And, you know, I'm like, okay, so how did you change that with your children? How did you try to break that? Because That's a real... I'm in the process. You know what I mean? I'm in the process. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm going to keep it a buck because, you know, I found out, you know, I'm from Kansas City, Missouri. Mm -hmm. and and I, I wanted to talk about that. Let's get into that. I want to know. Hold on. Let's go back Yeah, first that's what before. I want to do. Okay, let's, let's start back. Because yeah, yeah, we yeah, don't totally want to know, man. We want to know. City, I'm okay. from Kansas City, Missouri, man. And, and you were raised weird. how? I was raised. You jumped. <laughs> you just jump a whole movie. <laughs> There's a whole lot of stuff. Okay, go ahead. I'll let you go. There. Go ahead. So, so coming from KC, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? My mom killed my dad, or who I believe was my dad. Oh, who you believed to be your dad? Columbus Keith Short Sr. He, wow. was a, he was a police officer in Kansas City. How old City. were you when that happened? I was two weeks from being born. Wow. Yeah, I was not born yet. I was in, but you know, now that I'm, I have four kids, so like now understanding, like you know, you know, right, like right. that that them, that third trimester when they can hear and they, you know, I was there. I was just in the womb. I was just protected. Mm, I've heard womb. that. I've you heard that. You know what I mean? So I, all of that, that, you know, I heard the gunshot. I was there. I felt it. That's why and I had, you like, can be affected by yeah, it. All yeah, yeah. That's that. why, I, like, my whole life, I didn't know. I was like, man, for a long time, like, I didn't. I was like Batman. I didn't. I didn't want to mess with no guns. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, I, wow. Mm -hmm. I was like, uh, guns was like. Did right. your mom ever explain all of that to you when you got older? I mean, we working on it. You know. Do you have a relationship with her? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely, but it gets real when the, when the gets real gets real. We can't. I'm not ready to drop about the gets real. I'm gonna say this. Okay. 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 People okay. always, you know, they be like, "Man, you," because I go in like you right. say, my my my, I could have been him because my mom, you know, shot, shot at my daddy, dad, and mm -hmm. I was like three sitting there watching. Oh, you watched it? Yeah. What I oh, you did it? Yes, yes, I did. So when I say stuff like this, people be like, man, you know, the kids let him, but we going, I'm like, we channeling the same energy, man. And I thought that he would have ran out, but uh -uh. his dad didn't even run out. He ran mm -hmm. after her. Yeah. I'm like, she had a gun. Is, we, uh, he been shot in the head once. My daddy got shot. He did. He, this is country living. He got shot in the head with a a, a bullet, a 22, I believe, a small gun. And, you and it ran up his own No, thing. it never did penetrate. It stopped. And he put it in his pocket. He used to carry it you around. You got to be I'm kidding. not playing, bro. <laughs> no. He used to carry it around in his pocket. I'm not playing. That's Dang. different. And my uncle got shot in the same place. He got shot, killed, shot in the back of the head. Hey, man, my mama tore up Kansas City. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> she was bad. Jeanette, Jeanette Bentley told Kansas City apart. And if anybody know Kansas City, from 1982, she told that motherfucker up. Wow. That's on God. And I can tell you, you know me, I told my mama know that. I, we, we cool, we can, we can, we can. Mom, you told it, you burnt that motherfucker down. Are you the only child? No, from Kansas City? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so you were the only one who experienced all of that? I, I was, I, so... My mom was going through the case. Mm -hmm. You got to remember this. You know what I'm saying? You got to think about that. Right. I was going to be born in jail. So, you know, the shorts, the shorts, Edna Short, uh, Richard Short, you know, uh, all the shorts, Janine Short, my auntie Nene, you know what I mean? They had to take me in. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They had to because that's who, you know what I mean? Right. Boom, so that's boom, who boom. ended up raising you. But it's crazy, yeah. bro, because oh. I just got my birth certificate like three weeks ago. And well, I ordered it eight months ago, but I just saw it three weeks ago. How did it feel looking at it? There was no name on the, there was no father's name. Wow. Mm. So, you know, that's where the case began for mm. me. But, you know, onwards and upwards. No, the, the <laughs> reason why I always like to go back into people because our viewers can see the elevation. See that right. it doesn't end with just, you know, something traumatic happening and nah. you blame every, because some people live in hate. 
for the yeah. rest of their life and yeah. blame it all on their past and not realize that you have a future. You have a, a choice to change your your future. Correct. Not to live in hate, not to live in anger, not to live in what you did. Yeah. With, you know what I you mean? You know what's amazing about what you're saying is what's empowering me is that I was talking to one of these this young man who's like, he's like, a, he's like I don't know, I, I, like a baby brother or like a son. But... Um, he was he's went through a really bad situation. You know what I mean? He thought this girl he was raising was his daughter, it wasn't his daughter, and it's like and a lot spiraled, of people go through that. And he spiraled out and he, you know, overdosed and all this mm. stuff. And, you know, we talked a couple of days ago and I said, Man, all you gotta do, man, man, it's not I've been there. You know what I'm saying? But right. just just keep pressing. You know what I'm saying? Do not quit. If you quit, it's over with. Do not quit. That's the name of the game. Do but I think it's harder Keep for playing. someone like you um, to go through certain situations than a regular Joe Blow. The reason why, because you have the whole world watching you. That's what so I'm whenever about. you, you know, people see you look a certain way or, you know, act right. a certain way, right. they get to go to social media and, oh, right. he's going through this and he's this and how, how much If I had a phone you? back then when he cut up at the Palladium <laughs> Ballroom, I would have I would have put it out there. Oh, I would have been out here looking like a mystery back in the day. Because <laughs> they didn't have phones like that back then. Oh, yo, I settled down. <laughs> you cut <laughs> up, man. We're, we're back in the day, hey, country. Yeah. Hey, they I didn't want here. us, they I didn't want us back in them days. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> it was ugly. We we was burning down cities. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.